Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the city's title, I am in Mexico City. I'm actually here because my cousin that I have literally have not seen in maybe eight or 10 years is here in Mexico City and I thought, well, I might as well come out and meet you and show you around for the day. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna be showing her and her boyfriend all around Mexico City as much as we can for the next 24 hours and then tomorrow we're meeting some of our friends, but I thought I would bring my camera and bring you guys along. So yeah, that's what we're doing this weekend. So if you are interested, then definitely keep on watching. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before or any of my videos, my name is Anne and I live in Mexico and I occasionally like to share videos of my life in Mexico, being a black woman in Mexico and traveling around the world. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely consider subscribing down below. Before we go, I actually need to do my hair and my skincare and I thought I would show you some of the skincare products that I've been using lately because my skin is feeling really good lately. The main thing that has been keeping my skin looking super super good lately are these products from Medipeel. They actually reached out to me. They're a Korean skincare company. They sent me these three products from their Dutch tea line. When I tell y'all that my skin has looked so much better in the past two weeks that I started using these products I wish I was joking and I honestly need to get more because they're so good especially right now that it's summer I have oily skin I can't have products that feel really heavy on me like these feel so nice especially this um, mist which is actually a mattifying mist I don't know how it does it but for some reason it keeps my face completely matte like I don't sweat as much it doesn't feel like um, like mattifying primers it feels skin like but i still feel matte throughout the whole day which i don't understand what they put in this but i need more it's so good i just let that settle in and then after the mist has settled in then i go in with their ac calming serum that has tea tree and centella asiatica i don't know if it's the tea tree in this that has been helping with my breakouts like literally two weeks ago i was extremely stressed. I have been breaking out lately around this area of my jaw and just two weeks ago I had these painful breakouts that were not going away no matter what. I think you can see like the dark marks but they're completely flat. I changed nothing in my skincare routine other than this but I just add this and I rub them in. All of these products are super super lightweight. They don't feel greasy or heavy at all, so they're extremely perfect for summertime. I'm always looking for things that are going to feel cooling and calming. And the last product of this trio is the Balancing Cream. All of these products have tea tree and centella asiatica, which I think is supposed to help with like breakouts and calming down the skin. And that's literally it. Like my face feels moisturized, but it doesn't feel greasy and like heavy. And they don't leave a white cast. Thank you. Medi Peel. That has been like one of the things that kind of annoyed me about Korean skincare products is that they would work and they were great, but sometimes they would leave a terrible white cast, especially if you have. And then the only thing I'll add is like sunscreen and that's literally it, just these three products I've been using lately and my skin has been so happy with it. If you're interested, I'll leave some links down below that you can check out Medi Peel and these products specifically. And they have a bunch of other products on their site. Thank you to the Medi Peel team for sending me these products to try out. I'm gonna get done with my hair and then we'll go out for the day.
Hi everyone, it is the next day and I ended up not vlogging the rest of the afternoon yesterday just because we ended up not doing the things that we had planned. We were gonna go out to eat, maybe go to a museum, um, walk around Coyoacan or Reforma, but we ended up just staying at the Airbnb and hanging out and I'm actually glad that we did that because again I haven't seen my cousin in eight years so it was really good to catch up get to know her boyfriend and her friend that lives here in Mexico and it was just a good time and I'm glad that we ended up doing that especially since it rained pretty heavy but I didn't vlog any of that we were just enjoying the moment and I just wanted to live in the moment but today we are seeing some of our friends that live here in Mexico City we're going to go to a museum and probably eat Korean barbecue and just enjoy the rest of our weekend while we're here so yeah let's Go. 